How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Blocks Talks. Listen, we got an update on the cloak situation, and I wanted to talk about it, seeing as we just did a video talking about cloak. And even though I don't want Blocks Talks to be a like a drama series here on the channel, there's definitely a lot of very important things that I want to address regarding this brand new stuff that cloak has put out couple things right off the bat number one don't forget to like and subscribe number two i want to make it very very clear right off the bat that i have no hate towards anyone who's associated with this brand new collaboration with cloak and fnaf especially Duregular sauce sauce is seriously a super super chill amazing dude we're going to be talking about some of his work in today's video just because it is linked with the topic we're talking about today but i absolutely freaking love sauce i've talked to him you know off cam behind the scenes a lot he's so 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 nice and i don't want people to leave this video and and think that i am hating on sauce or Koda or Daco or CG5, anyone else who was involved with this brand new collaboration, because I'm not. They're all amazing people, you know, massive congrats for collaborating with Cloak, like, I've seen some of the stuff behind the scenes, and I've seen some pictures they took at the, the IRL event. It looks like a blast, but I'm just making these videos because, man, Cloak has been fumbling the bag with this new collaboration, and... I want to give them some pointers, and I know this may seem like a pretty extreme way of doing that, but I'm hoping that it's vocal enough that if maybe we do get a third Cloak and FNAF collaboration down the line, they're going to take some criticism and hopefully do better next time around. So the last video we talked about Cloak using some fan renders and fan edits for a promotional video, they ended up deleting the tweet, and then the rest of the video we talked about other cases of that happening. Well, the other day Cloak put out a tweet, and this is what we're going to be talking about in today's video, because they announced that they were actually going to be doing a giveaway. They said, Behold, there are only five of these amazing Freddy statues in existence made by your favorite Duregular Sauce. And we're giving each of them away to you. You'll be entered to win with any purchase from the Bite Cloak X FNAF, dropping this Friday at 9am PT. Good luck. So they were doing a giveaway where if you bought some merchandise for the brand new wave, you'd have a chance at winning a Freddy statue. Pretty cool. However, people were very quick to point out that to even enter the giveaway, you have to make a purchase on the Cloak website, which was a bit strange, and, well, a fair, fair few people called them out on it. In fact, not just called them out on it, they said that it was illegal. Right, you got guys, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to lock giveaways behind a product, because it's illegal to lock giveaways behind a paywall. Wait a effing minute, I need clarification, and then they had this image. Is it illegal to charge for a giveaway? Any legitimate sweepstakes is totally free to enter. It's illegal in the United States to run a giveaway that requires a purchase or a membership to enter. In fact, you even had Kane Carter giving his two cents on the situation. I think what Cloak is promoting here is just straight up gambling. They should change it to something free, like retweets on a tweet, or write up some proper terms and conditions, like age requirements. And then Kane also posted a screenshot of the Wikipedia page for a sweepstake giveaway. The FCC and FTC refined US broadcasting laws, creating the anti-lottery laws. Under these laws, sweepstakes become strictly, in quotes, no purchase necessary to enter or win. End quote again, a purchase will not increase your chances of winning. In the United States, sweepstakes sponsors are very careful to disassociate themselves from any suggestion that players must pay to enter or pay to win since this would constitute gambling. There should be no monetary cost to the entrant. There was a very easy solution to this. Because it's illegal, you know, you can't make it so that you have to pay to enter a giveaway, all you have to do, if you don't want to write up terms and conditions, just make a free way to enter the giveaway. And that's exactly what Kane mentioned. Just make it so that if you retweet one of the Cloak tweets, maybe you get a point and you get, you know, a chance to enter. That's all they needed to do. But once they saw the backlash, they actually deleted their tweet. But then they made an Instagram post today basically saying the giveaway still on. Each purchase of the Byte collection is an entry to win these hand-painted Save Yourself Freddy statuettes. You know, if you're into super cool, unique, one-of-a-kind collectible items that only four of the people will have, up to you. They're really trying to sell it. And I even brought it up in my tweet today. The easiest solution to this problem would just have to be a free way to enter the contest. That's the only issue here with the giveaway. Because now, essentially, you're just paying money for a product with the hopes, a very, very small chance that you get a higher value item with your purchase. Now, I know some people are like, well, you're still technically buying a t-shirt, so is it really gambling? You're getting something in return already. It's just adding to your chances of getting something more valuable. The purchase will not increase your chances of winning. Oh, hmm, interesting. 
Yeah, so it's just, it's not a good system at all. All they needed to do was make a free way to enter. Like retweeting a tweet, follow us on Twitter, like like our Instagram posts. There were so many different options they could have done that they didn't. And it turns out the reason why was this. This is a screenshot of a conversation Kane Carter had in the Freddit Discord. He said, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm pretty effing sure what they're doing for the statue is gambling. There was no free way to enter. You have to pay for a chance to win something very rare. That is gambling. Someone asked, but they still went ahead and did it. You know, after everyone called them out and basically said, hey, you can't do this. This is illegal. You're basically promoting gambling. Kane said, yes, I spoke to Sauce about this and they didn't seem to care too much. They said they didn't have problems with this in the past. I guess because nobody has actually taken action, they're going to keep doing it. So it seems that because they're not getting in trouble for doing this, you know, pay to enter a giveaway thing, they're just going to keep doing it, which I think's a little scummy, but whatever, man. Once again, there was such an easy solution to this issue that caused such a backlash in the community. Just make a free way to enter. In fact, it would probably be better for the promotion because then you got a bunch of people on Twitter retweeting your tweets about the new drop. Speaking of the new drop, by the way, it is officially live. If you do want to cop some stuff, I got a mug, I got a poster. There's a bunch of products on here. I'm not going to turn this into a video where it's like, I'm going to bash on Cloak and then not promote their stuff. Some of the stuff's pretty good. I will say it's very goddamn expensive though. 174 for a jacket? And I was going to cop a t-shirt, but then I looked on the back and it has FNAF in big bold letters. Why? The front design was so cool. Now I'm not going to turn this video into me shitting on their products because that's not the whole point of this video. It's just bringing up the giveaway and how strange it was, how easy of a solution there was. But yeah, if you want to go pick up some merchandise, feel free to. Uh, just be aware that it is pretty costly. I'll leave it linked down below. Though I do want to end this video off by probably the funniest reaction I've seen around this whole situation. And that was a tweet from Watch the Skies saying, How familiar! Nope, we didn't invent gambling or paid giveaways, but pretty sure that doing a possibly illegal merch giveaway to your mostly under 18 years old audience sounds pretty bendy to me. As always, I wish Cloak Brand and their fans nothing but luck and happiness, and that that's th one of the funniest things I've seen in, in a goddamn while. The bendy quotes are always hilarious. Uh, but that's gonna do it. I'd love to know your thoughts on the giveaway, also the products overall. I know a lot of people... Uh, we're kind of disappointed by some of it. Here's a, another tweet by Maz, who's like, yeah, you, please stop putting FNAF and It's Me and other FNAF quotes on the products. Because for a brand that claims it's hidden in plain sight, that's Cloak's slogan, I wouldn't quite say this is hiding in plain sight, but I digress. So that's going to do it for this episode of Blocks Talks. Hopefully the next episode won't be as controversial and cost me possible collaborations in the future. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.